Welcome back, folks. Oops, we're done with the Clone Wars now, and it's back to the prequels. Equals to episode 3, my favorite movie of the prequels. Well, since it still, and it still takes place during the Clone Wars, or war, so it counts as part of my playthroughs, playthroughs of all things involving, of things involving the Clone Wars. I skipped the first level because, honestly, that level is kind of, kind of boring and easy. All I ever really did to get through it was just hold down the fire button and blast my way through everything. Thing. That's the one. Th that's one of the things I'll give if if both the original trilogy and the complete saga games and everything else. They really improved on the vehicle levels. Compared to the old vehicle levels, levels are kind. Of, comparing the new vehicle levels to the old ones, the old ones are kind of shitty. I gotta say, I gotta say though, I do love of the design and in detail they went into for the separate enemy ship here. It's kinda it's pretty fucking cool if I do say so myself. And now through the air duck. Through some kind of air duck. And to quote Obi-Wan from the unfinished episode of the Clone Wars series. Why is it that every ship we on we always end up in the air duck? So they actually killed the droid because in this after in this playthrough instead of fleeing from them. Totally inaccurate to the movie. Movie Ugh, zero out of ten. Well, R2 just teleported in from Anakin's ship. Well, he's already one of the greatest droids ever, so I guess we can add being a magician to his list. Save the Chancellor. And boss battle time. <laughs> Need droids to back you up, Dooku? For shame. Actually, it's kind of even more shameful what I just found out a few, a little while ago, about how he thought uh, lightsaber combat was supposed to be just done with one saber and be a respectable duel. Duel with the elegance and stuff. And yet here he is having droids back him up. Who aren't exactly the most elegant of warriors. No fucking clue why that explosion didn't kill that super battle droid, but oh well, a lightsaber's just as good. Talk about being disarmed! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Well, it does me wonder how, how the Skywalkers. Oh, I'll go. Oh, the Lego game will handle this moment. Will they show the full-on decapitation? Well, it's Lego, so they might be able to get away with that. Then again, these are supposed to be kid games. Although, let's be honest, the Star Wars franchise isn't exactly the most kid-friendly out there. How many times has someone lost a limb in this series? If you had a nickel for every time someone lost a limb, you'd be fucking rich. And to escape the elevator... You know, I gotta wonder something about this part. Part. Are, is this is this just the ship malfunctioning, or because droids can pass through it? Is this just part of the design for security? You make the call. And now 
to the bridge. You know, I gotta say, hey, the Magna Guards look a lot more scarier with this design than they do in LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars. So Grievous definitely was improved a lot in that game, even compared to this old design. Also, it looks like it takes five hits instead of four to take him out. Although they do go headless after the fork, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, Cheap shot off your stupid droid. And now to take the bridge. Time for a crash landing, folks. You gotta wonder if that was part of Palpatine's plan. I know he was manipulating a lot of things, but you gotta wonder how this factored all in. And if he was actually gonna die. Also to quote Obi-Wan, another happy landing. And this is the only time we'll see Mace in this game. Aim, so that was kind of boring. Or, so that was kind of stupid. And that's it, folks, for this level at least.